No. Oh, these look really bad. Extremely sweet. Wow, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is disgusting. Ooh, that's really bad. Hey everyone, I'm Erica from the blog Bottom Side Up, and today I'm going to be trying some junk food. I want. But anyway, let's jump right in and I'm gonna start testing out this junk food and not gonna lie, I'm a little bit scared about some of this. If I was gonna make a prediction, the savory snacks I'm probably not going to hate because I'm kind of a sucker for savory junk food, but I'm guessing the sweet stuff is, uh, it'll be hard for me to eat some of this, I think. <laughs> let's just go ahead and start with something that I actually detested as a kid. These are Little Debbie's Swiss Rolls, and ooh, just looking at the package, I'm like, this is totally not my thing. They just, I don't know, they tasted artificial. They did not, they did not float my boat. Let's look at the ingredients. First ingredient is sugar, then corn syrup, polysorbate 60, natural and artificial flavors, red 40. I mean, I'm not exactly sure why you'd need red 40, I suppose to like color the cake. Okay, so they come in a little package of two. Oh yeah, this is bringing me right back. I don't know who in my family would buy these, but they feel like kind of lightweight for their size, I would say. All right, here goes nothing. That is a weird texture. I mean, honestly, the flavor itself isn't absolutely disgusting, but wow, the sugar level. Insane, insane level of sugar. Maybe you could get that down if you had like some really black coffee. Wow, I don't think I could take another bite of that. So much sugar, 28 grams and two cakes. So now I'm gonna eat something savory to kind of wash that sugar out of my mouth. So I'm gonna try out these Funyuns. I've heard of these before, never tried them. It sounds like something that would be good. Onion flavored rings. I mean, like, honestly, the ingredients could be scarier. There is uh, MSG in it, which I think can make me feel a little funny. They smell good. Get a full one. All right, let's try it out. Okay, that is really good. That is insanely good. Mm. I could see eating a lot of this bag. Very good, delicious. All right, so up next, I'm gonna try these Nutter Butters. I don't remember if I've ever had them before. I feel like they were something that I steered clear of as a kid, but I don't remember. If I did have them, it was many years ago. They come in a tray like this. Hydrogenated vegetable oil, that's great. High fructose corn syrup. I mean, oh, artificial flavor. I'm not sure why you would need an artificial flavor if it's peanut butter. Peanut butter tastes amazing on its own. So they're peanut shaped. And there's like a sandwich of peanut butter between two like cookies, crackers, made with real peanut butter. Peanut butter sandwich cookies, yeah. So they're, I guess they're cookies. All right, let's give it a try. I mean, honestly, that's not terrible. I would prefer if maybe you either had a sweet cookie and then the peanut butter was really salty, really savory, not sweet, or the reverse if the peanut butter is sweet and then it was more like a cracker. I just feel like that would be a better balance of flavor. But honestly, I mean, I could eat that. I wouldn't really choose it, honestly. A homemade peanut butter cookie would be way better. Okay, up next. I mean, this is just so iconic, Twinkies. So I had to try them. First ingredient is sugar, high fructose corn syrup, hydrogenated tallow. Well, that's interesting, they used tallow in there. That's kind of cool, actually. Not sure why you'd have to hydrogenate, though. Sodium steroid lact lactolate, polysorbate 60, monocalcium phosphate, natural and artificial flavors, yellow five, red 40. Okay, let's give it a go, shall we? Okay, so they come individually wrapped, and they have, like, on the bottom, I think that these are the holes where they put in the filling. All right, no idea what this is gonna taste like. Is it just gonna be white cake with more of that weird, super sweet white cream filling? Golden sponge cake with creamy filling. Yeah, how creamy is that gonna be? It's just gonna be a sugar. Don't like the smell. I'm not sure what it is. Ooh, no. All right, let's give it a go. It almost has like a citrus flavor. Is that the artificial flavor? 
No. Really not my thing. Like, if the filling was way less sweet, maybe, but, ugh. No, I have to be really desperate for dessert. But honestly, it wasn't as bad as I thought. It's not utterly disgusting. It just wouldn't be my first choice. Wow, the sugar, wow. I gotta eat another funyun. All right, let's try an Uncrustable. This is probably something, I don't know if I didn't know about this till I was like an older teen, but I don't think this was something that I wanted as a kid, but I've always been curious though. 10 grams of sugar in one sandwich, I mean, that's not terrible. Fully hydrogenated vegetable oils. Yeah, that's in the peanut butter. Okay, so these are individually wrapped. It's still a little bit cold. I wonder if I should wait on this. I'll come back to this actually. All right, let's do Chips Ahoy. I feel like as a kid, somebody would buy these and I was just like, I don't know what's the point. Like you can make chocolate chip cookies and if you don't have the time or the effort to make them, then just skip it. I mean, that was my philosophy. All right, Chips Ahoy. Flour, semi-sweet chocolate chips, butter. So there's actually real butter in there. Dextrose, milk, soy lecithin, sugar, canola oil, palm oil, high fructose corn syrup, leavening, baking soda, ammonium phosphate, salt, artificial flavor. I think that's what got me is the artificial flavor and that's why I didn't like it. 11 grams of sugar for three cookies. So I don't think these are gonna be insanely sweet. Oh yeah, this is bringing me back. Okay, so here's what they look like. Thin little cookies. A good amount of chocolate chips in there, really. All right, let's try it. I mean, I don't hate it. It's just not good. I wouldn't eat it. <laughs> I wouldn't choose this. If there's a choice of no dessert or this, I'd choose no dessert. I feel like maybe they taste a little less artificial than I remember, but... Hmm. Probably the last time I had these was when I was like 12 or something. Not terrible, not something I would choose. All right, I think I can do some candy before I have another Funyun. Okay, so these were something that I heard were popular among the kids. Fruit Gushers. No artificial flavors, gelatin free. Fruit flavored snacks. I don't know what the deal is with these. I don't know if they like gush in your mouth or something. Variety pack. Okay, so they come individually packaged. I think there's several to a package. Okay. This was the kind of candy that I despised as a kid. Gummy candies, I just wasn't really into. Gummy bears, stuff like that. Okay, here goes nothing. No, no. That's just weird to be chewing on the gummy thing and then there's like liquid inside. Oh, and then it's just like sticking to my teeth. The flavor is disgusting. No, just no. All right, time for Funyun. Okay, so this was another thing from my childhood that I despised. Miniature donuts, and especially powdered mini donuts. When my sister was a teen, she would buy these and she loved them and I did not understand. I don't know if it was this brand in particular, I don't think it was, but just mini powdered donuts. And I just really disliked them. But it says, America's number one donut. So they have to be good, right? Only good till May 13, 2021. These must have been old. Korea gum, I've never heard of that before. There's egg yolk in here. So there's actually some quality fat, natural and artificial flavor. Okay, let's give it a whirl. Oh. <laughs> These look really bad. I just really hate that powdered sugar coating. And as I remember, they're like really dry. How is this America's number one donut? Who made that claim? Ugh. <laughs> yeah, it's coming back to me. Not great. It just has this weird, like, disintegrate-y sort of texture in my mouth. Flavor is terrible. Uh, yeah, I, I don't get, I don't get it. No thanks. Okay, I think the sugar is kind of hitting me. Wow, so let's let's do some more. Okay, let's try an Almond Joy. This actually has almonds in it and coconuts and chocolate, so I'm guessing I'm not gonna hate this. It'll probably just be the sugar. Okay, so it's a little chocolate and you can see the almond right there, I'm assuming. I'm gonna try to eat the almond part. Okay, I appreciate what they're aiming for. The coconut flavor is cool, but 
just extremely sweet. If that was dark chocolate, maybe there is kind of like a salty element to it and the coconut filling was a lot less sweet, I could enjoy that, but whoo, okay, wow. Sugar's hitting me. Okay, so up next, might as well go right along with the candy and get it over with. Ooh, <laughs> Snickers. And this too, I guess I'm not gonna hate the flavor. I'm guessing the flavor is gonna be good. It's just gonna be the sugar level. I don't remember if I've ever had an Almond Joy before. I feel like I must have tried a Snickers before, but it's been a long time if I have. Okay, here we go, more sugar. Wow, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. Again, I appreciate what they're doing. It's like, there's a caramel layer and some sort of like a, I don't know if it's like a wafer layer and then nuts and then covered in chocolate, but oh, <laughs> that kind of hurts my throat with how sugary it is. Wow, that is insanely sweet. But that flavor is kind of familiar, so I'm guessing I had that as a kid. Okay, wow. Next up is zebra cakes, snack cakes. It's not really giving me an indication of what the flavor profile is supposed to be. I'm guessing sweet with a tiny bit of chocolate. First ingredient is sugar, then corn syrup, plum, plum kernel oil, sunflower, and whites. A natto extract, turmeric, potato starch. So wow, they're coloring this with a natto and turmeric and not food dyes. I don't really see the point, but every little improvement makes a difference. Okay, so they come in a pack of two and they have one, two, three, four, five, six sides what they look like. It almost looks like the frosting was poured over the cake and it's 33 grams of sugar in two cakes. Okay, wow. We'll see if this is insanely sweet or like, I don't know, we'll see. Weirdly fluffy texture. Oh, I think that's worse than the Twinkie. Oh. No, you don't really get a chocolate flavor. It's just sweet. The Twinkie I felt almost had like, I don't know if it was like an artificial lemon flavor or something, but this is just sweet. You can see how it's layered. <sighs> that is insane, insanely sweet. Okay, so now we move on to Twizzlers. I'm feeling kind of weird from the sugar, I have to say. I got strawberry flavor and it's artificially flavored. It's a low fat snack though, wow guys. 14 grams of sugar in three pieces, which I guess that's less than I thought. First ingredient is corn syrup. It has palm oil in it, artificial flavor, artificial color, red 40, mineral oil, and less than. Wow, the smell just hit me, the strawberry smell. Okay, this brings me back. I definitely think I ate these as a kid. I don't know if I actually liked them or if it was just like everybody else was eating them, so I did too. I probably liked them. I know I didn't like like the black licorice flavor, but I don't really want to eat this. Oh yeah, it brings me back. Yeah, I must have eaten this a fair amount as a kid. Oh yeah, and then it was hollow in the middle. And I feel like we tried to use it for straws, that is disgusting. The flavor is disgusting. That is, no. <laughs> I don't know at what point I just decided to rebel and stop eating those, but ooh, that's a really bad, really bad flavor. All right, so now the Uncrustable has thawed out. I got the peanut butter and strawberry jam. That would probably be the flavor I'd be least likely to hate. I'm hoping this is gonna be a relief from all the sugar of the rest of it. Oh, wow. It smells terrible. It smells like, oh, like burnt hair or something. In a round shape, you can tell they kind of like stamped them together. Honestly, this looks insanely fun to eat. Okay, I could imagine maybe enjoying it. Still fairly sweet, but the flavor isn't bad. Not something I'd want to eat for lunch regularly though. Okay, so now, I think these are the last of the cookies and then the rest needs to be prepared. So sorry if there is any like cooking noise in the background. So fudge stripes. These are another one that my sister would buy and I just did not understand. I did not get it. Or I did not understand why anybody would want to eat these. I feel like we didn't buy the Keebler brand. I feel like we bought the off brand, but here you can see it's like striped with chocolate on the top and then coated in chocolate on the bottom. I'm guessing I'm not gonna hate this. I'll try it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it's not terrible. Probably one of the least offensive of the sweet treats, but 
not super flavorful. Like if you really needed something sweet to go along with your coffee, maybe I could understand, but it's just not something that I would reach for. No, thank you. All right, so I got some Velveeta mac and cheese, or shells and cheese. It says liquid gold. I'm guessing I'm gonna like this, but this one's gonna take a little bit of time. Oh, I wonder if this is gonna work with just hot water, because you're supposed to, I didn't realize you have to put it in the microwave too, and I don't own a microwave. Here I thought it was just add water. Okay, we'll see if it will cook. There's some sort of like white stuff in with the shells, aside from the cheese packet. Okay, let's give this a shot. Wait, are you supposed to put in the cheese sauce now? No. No idea if this is gonna work. I don't know if these are par cooked or not, so oh, I guess it didn't have enough water. All right, set that aside to do its thing. Okay, so now, wow, that smells like hot plastic. Now we have come to one that I have kind of dreaded. I regret everything. Dun dun dun. Heaps marshmallow flavored cereal with marshmallows, artificially flavored. So it's marshmallow flavored cereal and then it has marshmallows in it. I don't like marshmallows. Not sure why I decided to put myself through this. I mean, you know why I did. I did it for the YouTube. So sugar is the first ingredient, then corn flour, wheat flour. It has vitamins and minerals. Also yellow five, red 40, blue one, yellow six. I feel like, ooh, <laughs> the smell, wow. I feel like there's a bit of false advertising, like maybe not, like in the picture, it kind of looks like it's mostly colorful with a few yellow ones, but I feel like the ratio is a little bit different in reality. I don't know. Well, we're gonna try it and I'm gonna do it with milk. Oh, it smells really bad. Now, I always have cream in my cereal. If you don't put cream in your cereal, what are you doing? It makes it so much better. I usually do at least half cream. So we'll go in with that first to make sure we get enough. The smell, <laughs> the smell is so bad. I'm hoping, well, we'll see if the taste is any different than the smell. I think I poured myself too much. I'm gonna waste good milk. It feels very crunchy, I'll say that for it. Okay. That's actually not bad. Taste is way better than the smell. I don't like mini marshmallows. I don't know if they're like freeze dried marshmallows. It's not terrible. I have to say I'm kind of a sucker for cereal. Yeah, the flavor is not disgusting, but it's too sweet. Yeah, I don't like the texture really of the freeze dried marshmallows. It's not the cereal that I would choose, but honestly, this is one of the better snacks. I guess probably the milk and the cream helped to tone down the sugar a bit and that's why. It's losing its crunch a little bit. Okay, it looks like the noodles are getting soft. Ugh. Pour it out on my Twinkies. It kind of seems like some of them are getting soft and some of them aren't. I'll leave it for a bit more. I almost forgot that I purchased some Gatorade. This is an insane color of blue. Water, sugar, dextrose, natural and artificial flavor. Glycerol ester of rosin, blue one. I don't know if I've ever had Gatorade before. I've always wondered what it tastes like. This is the blue cherry flavor. Gatorade fierce, thirst quencher, bold and intense. Okay, I can get it open and not stain everything. Holy cow, child proof? Ugh, got it. Okay, that smells really bad. Insane. I just want a little bit. Like that color of blue. I know that some things in nature are pretty bright blue, but. Okay, here we go. It tastes like Kool Aid. That tastes gross. Like, why would you drink that over like water? I mean, I suppose it is supposed to be. Is it supposed to be an electrolyte? Okay, yeah. electrolytes to help replenish what you lose in sweat. No. No. Are there any like electrolyte drinks on the market that actually taste good? Cause that tastes, it tastes like Kool-Aid. Okay, so now I'm gonna stir in the sauce, the cheese sauce for my Velveeta mac and cheese. All right, there we go. Some nice gushy cheese in there. I'm gonna squeeze that. Oh, gloop it in. I bought natural mac and cheese that kind of has this sort of cheese pouch before. 
It doesn't smell horrible. I'm just gonna mix it in. Hopefully it gets hot and mixes in. It seems a little watery. I don't know if that's because I didn't use the microwave. I don't know if the noodles would absorb more of the water. I gotta give it a fair shake, gotta stir it in well. So far it doesn't seem like a super pleasant experience though. It just seems a little bit squancy on the, on the shells. Okay, it's kind of a gloopy mess. I'm guessing this is because I don't have a microwave. But I guess I can probably get the general flavor profile. It's not great. I don't think I gave this a fair shake. I would try this again, but it tastes kind of artificial to me. Not a fan, not a fan. That's disappointing. I thought I'd be the one that I would like. All right, and last but not least, we have Hot Pockets. These are something that I always wanted to try as a kid, but I don't think my mom ever bought them. So now I finally get to try them. The ingredients list is a mile long, but I mean like who wouldn't want to eat that? A little mini pizza. Okay, let's see what we do. Not use cooking sleeve in the oven. Bake for 28 minutes, then carefully remove the oven. All right, here we go. Okay, that's bigger than I thought, actually. The crust smells good. I think it said garlic buttery crust. All right, so I put it on my pan, and I'm going to stick it in the oven now. All right, and we'll be back in 28 minutes. I think this is just uh, fulfilling a childhood dream. Here's what it looks like when baked. I'm probably going to burn my mouth off. That's insanely hot. It looks a little doughy, to be honest. Whoa. Hot. I feel bad for Hot Pockets fans. You have to wait 28 minutes for it to cook and then you have to let it cool down. Okay, kind of has that frozen pizza vibe. The sauce isn't overly sweet. Honestly, the flavor isn't amazing, but if you needed a pizza fix, I could see how this would be handy. I don't know if it's really less messy than regular pizza, but I bet a lot of people started eating these because of the fun commercial. I always wanted to try them because of the commercial. Not bad, really not bad. Not amazing though, really not amazing. It tastes like pizza though. It's hard to make a pizza that you wouldn't eat, right? The crust isn't insanely good though. I almost think more like a croissant crust would be better on this, and it could be cheesier. All right guys, well, I hope you enjoyed watching me suffer through eating all this junk food. And honestly, I think I found my new favorite snack. Some of these surprised me. I wasn't expecting to either not hate them or actually enjoy them. But overall, I think it's safe to say that I'm still not a junk food consumer. It just, it doesn't bring me joy. It's not the kind of food that I wanna eat. I'm feeling like weird from all the sugar. I don't know, like a little bit jittery, but I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you so much for everyone who has subscribed to my channel or liked or commented on one of my videos. I really appreciate it and it really helps the channel out. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe for more food and cooking videos. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.